guys and welcome back to our practical series in this class we are going to be continuing in our ex electricity experiment and we are going to be verifying ohm's law to achieve that we'll be using a rheostat a 0 to 3 volt meter 0 to 3 ammeter a 3 volt battery a 2 ohm resistor and a key we are going to simply be connecting it as it is in the diagram that you are seeing. So I'm going to quickly set up the experiment as shown above and then set the rheostat to get the maximum possible current from the ammeter. And once that is done, I will record the corresponding value of the voltmeter. Then I'll gradually reduce the current value using the rheostat and also record the corresponding value of V and I'll do that for six different readings and then we'll plot our graph. So here is the connection. You can see everything is well connected. The battery is connected according to the way it is in the drawing. The real start is connected in um, connected to the voltmeter. The voltmeter also connected to the ammeter also which is connected to the two ohm resistor. resistor. So the maximum reading from the ammeter could be gotten here. So here is the maximum reading that is 0 0.75 approximately and the corresponding reading of the voltmeter is 1.7 1.7 so I'm going to take note of that. So since the maximum current is from this end I will now have to reduce it a bit so that I will get um, a reduced current value. So once I've done that, I will take my current reading here. I have 0 0.7 now and then here for my voltmeter, I have 1.55. Having also done that, I'll reduce it so that I could get um, get lower current. So here so here's what I have, 0 0.6, and here's my V, 1.4 approximately. Also, with a little adjustment on the real stats, I have my ammeter reading to be 0. Point, this is not exactly 4, this is, this is three, between 3 and 4, 0 0.3, I can say 37, and then my voltmeter reading is 0 0.8. And then with another adjustment, I have my ammeter reading to be 0 0.2 and then my voltmeter reading to be 0 0.4. So the last reading, the sixth one, I have ammeter to be 0. Point, my ammeter reading to be 0 0.1 and then I have my voltmeter reading to be 0 0.2. So this is the sixth reading that I'm going to be taking. So I'm going to compile that and then, then draw the graph. So our expectation for this graph is that it is going to be a straight line graph from the origin when we plot a graph of V against the I. Now you can see the graph we have here. It's a straight line graph, though it is not perfectly from the origin, but you can see that it's very close to it. So this is what the graph looks like. Now if I go ahead to deduce the slope from this graph, I would get that the change in V over the change in the current I is equal to 2.36 ohms. This is because whenever we find the ratio of the potential difference to the current, the value we are going to be deducing is the resistance. And resistance is measured in ohms. So the value of our slope represents the resistance. So the resistance I have according to my slope is 2.36 ohms. Now, being that I used a 2 ohms resistor, you would expect that my slope should also give me 2 ohms, but that is not exactly so. The reason for the slight difference in the value of my slope in relation to the value of the resistor I used in the experiment is due to some certain factors. Of course, you know that there are some factors that affect the resistance of a conductor. 
we have mentioned that that the length area temperature and the nature of material would affect the resistance of the conductor so all the components the wire i use and all of those they also offered a a form of resistance to the flow of current so that is why we have um the value more than the two that i used so the the explanation for the extra 0 0.36 ohm I added to the two ohms would be from the connecting wires and some other components of the circuit that would also offer their own resistance in the course of the experiment. So in order to avoid any form of error, I ensured tight connections during the conduct of the experiment. I avoided zero error in reading both the voltmeter and the meter and the ammeter, and I ensured that the keys were open when I'm not taking any reading during the experiment. So these were the precautions taken to obtain accurate results. So that makes that Ohm's law can be stated that the current flowing through a metallic conductor is directly proportional to the potential difference between its ends, provided that temperature and other physical conditions are kept constant. So by this experiment, I've been able to verify Ohm's law. Of course, you know that the mathematical expression of Ohm's law v over i is equal to r so the r is the value of our slope and i've explained how that my slope value is different from the value of the resist resistor i used during the experiment so i would like to get feedbacks from you try and do the experiment yourselves and then you get back to us stay tuned until next time stay tuned